What is going on everybody? My name is Ian and welcome back to another MCU review. Last time we reviewed Iron Man and if you did not see that, I'm going to recommend that you go back and watch it so you can keep it the continuity of my MCU reviews and understand the rankings. But you may just be here to hear my thoughts on this particular movie, in which case it's fine and whatever. But if you do want to stay tuned for future MCU reviews, do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as hit that notification bell down below so that way you are notified when I upload forthcoming Marvel Cinematic Universe reviews. Also, comment down below if you think this shirt is obnoxious because I find it halfway awesome, halfway obnoxious. It looks like one of those things doctors wear, you know, where they have all the characters over it and it fits doctors, but I'm not sure about YouTubers. Anyway, let's get along to the review. Today, we are reviewing the one other MCU movie that was released in 2008, The Incredible Hulk. Unlike Iron Man, Hulk had already had a plethora of films and TV shows made about him, and was one of Marvel's standout characters. So fans were walking into this kind of knowing what to expect. Unfortunately, once again, unlike Iron Man, the best part of this film is not its leading actor. While I think Edward Norton is a good actor, I totally do not think he fits the part of Bruce Banner, which is one of the reasons I love Mark Ruffalo as him. That right there is probably my main problem with the film, is that we get to see this okay version of Bruce Banner, and then when we see the Avengers, and then of course further films after that, we see Mark Ruffalo playing him. And it's much better casting, much better performance, and the continuity is totally messed up. That leads me to my definitely biggest problem with The Incredible Hulk. It doesn't fit into the MCU continuity necessarily. Now of course there's no plot holes as far as I'm concerned, and it's it's just just this. Just listen to this. Well every other MCU movie basically has easter eggs and little references to other MCU films, so the whole thing is glued up as one big pretty package, The Incredible Hulk just doesn't fit in that package. For me, this metaphorical glue that combines all the wonderful elements of the MCU together is what really makes it a standout franchise to me. And here in The Incredible Hulk, we don't really get that. Sure, there may be a cameo of Thor, or that could just be lightning, and we do get a Tony Stark reference which is cool for fans of Iron Man, and teases to future villains that would later not be resolved. There's my other number one problem, is that it it's it all comes down to the continuity. Otherwise, this film is pretty okay. For some reason, I do get a weird feeling every time I watch it. It just, something feels off. This was kind of resolved when we saw uh, Everett Ross, I forget what his uh, military title is, but we saw him appear in Civil War, and that kind of personally fixed the movie almost entirely at that point for me. Betty Ross, the love interest, is also okay. The relationship between Betty and Ross is... <laughs> Okay, that's the adjective I'm going to continually use when it comes to this film. The one standout element of this film that I actually do love, actually, I kind of love it, is the whole running from public eyesight thing. The way this film tackles the antics of the Hulk is kind of brilliant. It's awesome to see Bruce on the run, it's awesome to see him constantly worried about getting angry, about his anger levels, about his heart rate so he doesn't Hulk up, and that's actually pretty okay. Finally, Probably the worst part of this film is the Hulk's look. It's just kind of, I don't even know what it is, but something's off. Something's just okay about it. So that leads me to my review. Out of 10 gamma radiation signs, I give this film a solid 5. I know, pretty darn bad. And then when we get to the MCU rankings, it is of course below Iron Man, which I gave 9 arc reactors out of 10. So right now, Iron Man is still in the lead with The Incredible Hulk in second place, also known as last place. Like mentioned beforehand, if you do want to stay tuned for more MCU reviews, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, hit the notification bell, or just continue watching the playlist if there are already future MCU reviews added. Uh, so you can just binge watch and have a good time. Am I going to have to say that every video? I don't think so. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.